is up guys, welcome back to the Supes channel. My name is Matthew Ramos and on this channel I'm to entertain, inform, and inspire using the topic of discussion as always, which is superheroes. So guys, here we are, we're back with a new vid. And today I wanna talk about Spider-Man Miles Morales. Spider-Man Miles Morales is about 20 days from coming out and I couldn't be more freaking excited. Anyways, because the game is so close to coming out, they've released, Game Informer has released here clips here and there about the game, cutscenes, pieces of gameplay. So today I just wanna review a couple of them, break down what we're seeing and talk about just Miles Morales, what I wanna see from the game and just talk some more Miles Morales. So we got the first video right here and it's called checking in on Miles and Peter in Spider-Man Miles Morales. We got Miles, the graphics of this game just it's next level. It, it looks fantastic. Just look at all of this. Here we're gonna get some free roam web swinging. And guys, if you notice, the web swinging between Miles and Peter in the first game look completely different. Like this web swinging that we're seeing from Miles, it looks so much more like loose. Like it's almost like he's just letting the wind take his body like he's letting the momentum take his body whereas in, Sp in, the, in the first spider-man game peter was in control and i love that oh my gosh and then just to see both miles and peter working together is a freaking dream come true this is what i really wanted to see from this game i wanted to see it. where's where's peter because we didn't uh, obviously peter ends up leaving which we're going to talk about that in a second but are we actually going to see Peter and Miles fight side by side? And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Is it going to be across the entire game? No. But the fact that we're getting just some missions with Peter and Miles together, it makes sense. And I'm glad we're getting to see both Peter and Miles fight side by side. Finally. So that was the end of that clip. It continues on over in, in this one over here. Oh, no, 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 in this one right here. Of course, but of course, right there, we, we got to see Miles screw up a bit. Rookie mistake. And now, Miles, we see this plane is going down. And Rhino's in there. I also really like how they're bringing back villains of the, of the first game. Because those are just some of the most classic Spider-Man villains of all time. And for a villain like Rhino, Rhino was one of the villains I really wanted to see return. Because I wanted to see Miles get that rematch from the first game. Now he has powers. Now he has the, the ability to fight Rhino. So I definitely wanted to see this rematch. And I'm glad we're getting to see it. And we're getting to fight off against Rhino in this game. But this mission looks insane. This is like... I guess this, is, this has been their big blockbuster mission. Like, going into Spider-Man PS4, that the their big blockbuster mission was obviously the Raft mission where we fight off against the Sinister Six and we see the Sinister Six form. But this fight against Rhino has been their blockbuster mission for Spider-Man Miles Morales. And it looks insane. The combat looks amazing. I love... Dude, just look at this. Look at this! Miles is getting sauced up right now. But um, the way he uses... The electricity and the power of the punches it, it looks like it like it, miles's combat looks like he's like it looks like he's way more powerful than peter in terms of their power like look how powerful those punches look the animations too my god they look way more powerful than peter's punches but again peter's more skilled so that's what puts peter over the top and again, Miles just gets sauced up here. But let's move on to the next clip. The next, we got the next clip over here. An exclusive look at Miles' feline friend. Dude, this game looks so freaking good, guys, I swear. First of all, let's peep all of this. Because these, these are a couple of new things about like the, just the display and the way the display looks. Here on the right, we can see like a little menu and it looks like those are challenges and there's credits and those are challenges and crimes with, that we need to do, which is nice, which is nice. Cause we could just stack up on missions and then go one by one, get the missions done. But boom, 
I, I wish we had more free roam gameplay to watch because it, it looks it, it looks therapeutic, man. Like I just I could just I don't know about you guys, but some like before Spider-Man PS4 came out, I would just sit and just watch compilations of just all of the gameplay. Low key, I might make a compilation of just all of the gameplay we've seen from Miles. Cause I just this is this is what I this is what I'm here for for gameplay. And look, we can see Miles is has got an, a new feline friend, Spider Cat, which was a fun, wacky, and unexpected addition to this game. I didn't think we were gonna see Spider-Man fight alongside a cat, which is crazy, it's wacky, it's insane. Oh man, the technologies of the PlayStation 5 are just going to put this game over the top, and I'm so happy that Miles Morales is that character to usher in the new wave of superhero gaming and just technology in general. Spider Cat. Miles' suit. It's so good! It's almost like this is like Mr. Dumbore's shop. Just in the Miles game. <sighs> the graphics, dude. I just, I can't get over the graphics. I'm sorry, guys. I can't get over the graphics. But now we get a new addition, the new a new suit, looks very homemade, which I dig. I dig the hoodie look, and Spider Cat in the back. <laughs> See, like this is a Spider Man suit that I would put together if I was just starting off as Spider Man. And look, right here we can see that we can fight along Spider Cat. It's almost like a back back bling, like how it is in Fortnite, except on the finishers, it's an animation, which is so freaking dope. I hope there's more animals in this. Like, there's not just Spider Cat. Imagine, like, I don't know, a monkey or like a parrot or a dog. Like, I hope back blings are a thing for Miles Morales. And then here we're gonna get a nice little look at stealth gameplay and what that's gonna look like in Miles Morales, which is very exciting because this is probably the only piece of stealth gameplay we've gotten for Miles Morales. And boom. Look. Wait, I'm gonna pause it right there because we get we get a look at the gadgets for Miles. And I'm pretty sure these aren't all of the gadgets, but these are just some of the gadgets that we're gonna have with Miles. And obviously you guys can see they are a lot different than the gadgets that Peter has. And if you look at the one on the right, it looks like Miles can duplicate himself, which is a new power that Miles has because we know he can go invisible. We know he has like the electricity powers, but if there's a gadget that can duplicate Miles, that would be very interesting and that'd be kind of OP in a way. But here we get like a little web grenade, like web electricity EMP kind of thing. Oh my, and that just put those two guys to sleep. You guys know I'm gonna be using that. And and then a new stealth takedown animation. Let's put this guy to bed. Boom, we're invisible. Dude, the invisibility is gonna be insane. I wonder how long you can stay invisible. Cause that's gonna be so OP in terms of boss fights. Like, imagine you're about to die, and then you just go invisible and you heal up. And then here it looks like we're chaining almost. We just chained those three guys. Invisible. Boom. Done. So OP. So OP. And now, now this is where everyone knows where we're at. That's the other. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was an awesome finisher. But, dude, you guys can see the gadgets. Miles looks so much more OP than Peter does in terms of just raw power. He can be, he can go invisible. And then his punches and his combat look so much more powerful than Peter's combat. It's just that Peter's obviously more experienced. I'm expecting Peter to have, you know, I'm expecting Miles to have less gadgets than Peter. But this was the best clip I've seen so far from Miles Morales right here. This clip right here. This is the best piece of footage I've seen from Miles Morales. And I'm excited to talk about it in a sec. But here we have Brian Horton, the creative director of Miles Morales, talking about the game. I'm looking to get him on Soup's Disputes very, very soon. We're in talks for that. But here we get to see new gameplay from the Rhino mission. That shows... 
a really battle damage Peter Peter Parker. I'm, all I'm I love you Insomniac, but all I'm saying is that if you kill my boy, bro, if you kill my boy, we're gonna have issues. We're gonna have issues. Nah, I'm playing. Peter's not gonna die. We all know that second game for Spider-Man is coming, but. I love seeing Peter and Miles just in this position where Peter, look, just look at the shots. Look at the shots. Peter is about to freaking die. And now Miles has to rise to the occasion and step up. And it's crazy because I feel like this is like probably the first boss fight that Miles has ever had. And seeing what Rhino did to Peter, somewhere in Miles' head, he's thinking like, is he gonna do the same to me? And this is how Miles discovers that he has the electricity powers right here. Boom! Sauced up. What a punch. What a moment. That when I saw this, it kind of brought me back to into the Spider Verse. Like it gave me those vibes of just that, like that what's up danger scene or when Miles enters the final battle and punches Doc Ock. Like it gave me those vibes. But man, just everything about this game looks amazing. And we, now we also know from a recent interview with Game Informer that where they interviewed Brian Horton, that we know where Peter Parker is going to be for the remainder of this game because he's not going to be around the entire game. So it was recently revealed that Peter Parker is going to depart from Spider-Man Miles Morales, this is something we predicted because how can they have this entire Miles Morales game with Spider-Man helping him by his side? And that's not gonna be the case. Peter, we are going to get some missions with Peter and Miles, but eventually Peter will leave. And where he's going to is Simcaria. Simcaria is obviously the country of Silver Sable. We were hinted, this was hinted at at the end of the city that's Never Sleeps DLC where Silver Sable leaves to her home country of Simcaria to fight off a war for her country's freedom. And Peter and MJ are both going to Simcaria to take pictures. Peter's going to be MJ's like sidekick photographer, going back to his roots from the Daily Bugle. And quick side note, I really hope that they don't make Peter's role moving forward in not only in this game, but in the next game. I really don't hope they don't bring him back to being a photographer because I really like him being a scientist because that's just his true passion and dream. But um, anyways, Peter's going to be in Simcaria alongside MJ and that's where Miles takes on the responsibility of becoming Spider-Man and protecting New York City by himself. But what's also interesting is that even though Peter's not in the frame of things, he's still going to be around in terms of his presence. Miles will continuously be contacting Peter updating him, letting him know what's happening while Peter is Simcaria. And Brian Horton, the creative director of the game, also said that because Miles is still very new to being a superhero because he's only been Spider-Man for a year, Peter is actually going to leave a bunch of training challenges from when he goes to Simcaria. And those training challenges are obviously some things that we can do and we can complete. And it's just another layer to the game that wasn't in the first game. And that's really one of the things I really want to see them expand upon and improve on in this game is the challenges, the side missions, the crimes, the variety of crimes. I want to, I want to be able to finish the campaign and have still so much more to do because after I finished the amazing campaign of the first Spider-Man game, I finished all the challenges and I was done in like a, a day or two just with the whole game, completely, completed it 100%. And then that's where I uploaded my first YouTube video and boom, Soups was born. But now we're back and we're ready to run it again for round two with Spider-Man Miles Morales and I want them to have so much more to do after you complete the campaign with this game. Another thing I really want to see is I want to see a difference between Miles and Peter in terms of the gameplay. We know just from the gameplay clips that we watched, we know that they're going to be different, but I also want it to feel different. I don't want, I don't want it to look different. And then it feels like the same animations. It feels like this, it feels the same way as it did with Spider-Man PS4. I want there to be a, a difference in feeling from when you're playing as Miles and then when you're playing as Peter. And that's something I'm really looking forward to because Spider-Man is getting remastered on the PlayStation 5 alongside the release of Miles Morales. So once I'm playing both games, I want to feel a difference from when I'm using Peter and when I'm using Miles. And that's something that really gets me excited with the new launch of the PlayStation 5 is because the controller is so adaptive and it has those, it has the haptic feedback, the adaptive triggers. I want there to be a feeling 
of different uh, I want there to be a different feeling from when I'm using miles and when I'm using Peter and if we were talking, if Miles Morales was coming out on the PS4, then maybe that's a different story because maybe they don't have the technology to make them feel so different when you're playing as these, as these characters. But now with the PlayStation 5, I don't think there's an excuse. I think even though the game, both game pieces of gameplay look completely different, I also want it to feel different when we're using these characters. And the final thing I'm really excited to see in Spider-Man Miles Morales is the alternate suits. The reason I'm so excited is because Miles Morales doesn't have as many alternate suits as Peter Parker. So with this game, Insomniac is going to have to create a ton of original alternative designs and they actually just released a new suit design and it looks amazing. It's like Peter in a, uh, in like a hoodie suit that's red and black and you guys know I'm a sucker for red and black. I think this suit looks amazing. It's the best alternative suit we've gotten a look at so far. We've also gotten a, a new look at like an electro suit and then there's obviously the white, uh, the white, red and black suit which is the track suit. So at this point, we've got to look at three or four alternative suits for Miles Morales. We got the hoodie suit that we saw earlier on in the in the gameplay clips. We saw the electro suit, the track suit, and now we got a new look at like this hoodie suit. So the hoodie suit, as of right now, is just my favorite alternative design. It's something I'm going to be using because I love the hood over Miles' head. And I'm just so excited to see what other original alternative designs they have in store for Spider-Man Miles Morales. So guys, overall, I am beyond excited for Spider-Man Miles Morales. I wasn't even planning on making this YouTube video. I literally was just thinking about my excitement for the game, popped up my camera and just started talking and now it turned into this video. So with that being said, let me know in the comment section down below, what are you most excited to see from Spider-Man Miles Morales? Is it the alternative suits? Is it, you know, Peter and Miles working side by side? What is it? Let me know in the comment section down below and guys, I'm doing a giveaway over on my Instagram. I'm giving away one of these Spider-Man watches. Speaking of Spider-Man, these beautiful Meister Spider-Man luxury watches, they're freaking beautiful. The Spider-Man one is personally my favorite and I'm giving one away over on my Instagram. So go check out my Instagram, underscore soups, underscore, and enter to win those giveaway details. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.